This is an introductory tutorial to math AI. So I'm going to start by selecting the pencil tool up here and I can write out my math, chemistry or physics formulas on this whiteboard. So I'm just going to start off with a math formula or a math equation like so. And then I'm going to press on scan canvas. And that will make our math appear in the top left corner up here. And I can communicate to our AI tutor about our math. So I'm just going to type help me with this one like so. And now our AI tutor will be able to refer to the math that we have written up in this top left corner and help us with our specific question. And we can see that our AI tutor outlined all of the steps required to derive the solution. And then we have the solution down here, x is equal to 3. And what we can do also is that we can ask the AI tutor about steps. So for example, we might be wondering how we got from this step up here down to this step. And we can actually just take a screenshot. So we can just take a screenshot right here and ask about those two steps. And then just paste that in to the whiteboard. And then we can surround the screenshot with with this rectangle tool to isolate the part of the whiteboard which we want to ask for help about. So I'm just gonna surround the screenshot. And then here we have the screenshot. And now I can just ask, how did we get to that step? And I, I spelled step wrong, but it's fine. It realizes what I was trying to say. So sure, I'll be happy to explain that step. So it explains to us how we get to this step from this original step up here. So there I showed you guys how you can paste in images and how you can isolate the things that you want to scan using the rectangle tool. So let me just explain with one more example. So what we can do now is that we can clear the history by just going up here and pressing on new room. And now the history is cleared. And now I can just clear out the whiteboard as well. And I'm going to open up this website and I'm going to take a screenshot of one of these equations like so. And I'm also going to include the question itself and then I'm just gonna press on scan canvas again and here we have the equation yet again and the question and now I can just ask our AI tutor for help with the screenshot as we did before so I'm just gonna pick one of these suggestions like help me with this and then the AI tutor will help us with this question here we have the explanation so step one move the constants term to the other side of the equation and here we have step two and so on and here we have the solution and we can also do some chemistry so we could just ask our AI tutor about chemistry as well like so but it's recommended to actually open up a new room and pick chemistry instead. So I'm gonna go to the dashboard and then go over to chemistry. And now the tutor will be specialized in chemistry instead of math, but the math tutor can also do chemistry. The, the default tutor, when you just go on the normal URL, is the math tutor. There's also different settings. So there's one setting called hint depth level, which decides on how inclined the AI tutor is to give you hints instead of just revealing the answer immediately. So if you have a question, but you don't wanna have the whole answer revealed to you immediately, setting hint depth level to high instead of the default setting low will enable you to actually only be provided with one step into the process of deriving the solution or maybe some guidance instead of actually having the whole answer revealed to you. And let's do another problem now with hint of set i. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of this problem down here. And by the way, on Windows, taking a screenshot is just Windows key, shift and then S at the same time. And then you can just paste it in by control V once you have the, your focus on the whiteboard. And then you can just press on scan canvas again. And now I'm going to ask for help. But this time I want to actually be provided with the full solution at once. Instead, I will just be given some guidance and maybe like one step into the process of deriving the solution. And we can see here that our AI tutor is providing us with a formula that we can use to derive the answer to this problem. And you can also follow the roadmaps. And the roadmaps are essentially embedded learning paths that you can follow and submit your answer to. If you go over here, you can select different subjects. So if you select math, we currently only have two roadmaps and this one is still <laughs> in progress. We only have one exercise on this one. But the logarithm one is almost finished. We just need to add a couple of more chapters and exercises. But you will see that we can navigate through these different pages by opening this little table of contents down here. And we can see that these ones are the pages with exercises. And the ones without the XP don't have any exercises. So they're solely explanations. But to actually submit an exercise or submit your answer to an exercise, you have to submit it either through the whiteboard or through the text window down here. So let's just do this exercise right here. So you can tell that we have this submit answer button right here. So we want to press this button once we have provided the correct context for our answer to be rated. So if we, for example, just solve this real quick on the whiteboard. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 3 is equal to 8 times 4 to the power of x minus 1. So the trick to this question is that we want all of the bases to be the same, such that we can just make the exponents equal to each other and solve for x. So I'm just going to make every base equal to 2. So the left side will be the same, but the right side will now be 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 and then times x minus 1 like so. And now we can cross out the 2s. And we also know because of the exponent rule that these two can be summed together, this expression right here and this expression right here, because we have the multiplication in between them. So that will give us this expression right here. So x plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. And then we can distribute the 2 
2 into the parentheses, which gives us this right here, 3 plus 2x minus 2. And then we can just take and sum these two ones together, which means that we have 1. And then we can just take minus 1 on both sides, which means that we have this right here. And now we can just take minus x on both sides, which means that we have this, which is our solution. And now that we have our solution, we can just press on scan canvas like before. And this should work, so now we can just press on submit answer. But if this doesn't work, I'm gonna change it such that I have x on the left side of the expression like so. Sometimes that matters, but I think this will work fine. So I'm just gonna press on submit answer once I have my math in this context window. And there we go. Now we gained some XP and we actually leveled up. And we also gained some mathy tokens. And now we can move over to the next exercise and continue grinding. Or we can just ask our own questions as before. And by the way, the AI tutor also has access to the questions. So for example, if I'm stuck, I can ask for help. And currently we have a hint def set to high. So it won't actually provide us with a full solution. But this is a good way of getting unstuck if we don't actually know what step we have to take to, to come to the answer. So we can see that our AI tutor has access to the page that we're currently on. And it can help us with the actual question. So you can see here that it provided us with one of these rules that we can use to simplify the expression to this instead. And by the way, these tokens up here are being used each time you ask a question to the AI tutor and you have smart mode activated. So smart mode essentially makes the AI tutor smarter by switching to a better AI model. So it switches from GPT 3.5 to GPT 4 and it makes a huge difference. So currently I'm on smart mode. So I have GPT 4 activated and you can also get some more tokens. So for example, you can buy them down here if you run out of them, but you actually get some for free as well. And then there's this other feature called the AI calculator. So the AI calculator enables you to input things into a calculator and evaluate them automatically. So let's say that you have solved like some sort of long equation on the whiteboard. So maybe you had like X, you know, divided by five is equal to three, but you have the root of three and maybe you have like the 11th root of three times, I don't know, 521 divided by three, something like that. And then you multiply by five on both sides. So you have this full expression multiplied by five. Essentially you have like something really annoying and you need a calculator. So this AI calculator enables us to just press the button and have all of the values inputted into a calculator. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna press on calculate once we have the things in our context window up here and then it will be automatically inputted into the calculator and also evaluated. So we can see right here that we have our formula for the things that we have to calculate and here we have the answer. But this does also cost these mathy tokens but it's essentially just like a speed up. So if you're just doing a bunch of exercises and you're deriving a bunch of solutions, this can actually help you out to just speed up your you know workflow but i would suggest double checking the answer each time though just to make sure that you have the right things inputted into the calculator but as i mentioned before each time we send a message with smart mode activated we're depleting our tokens but we can try to manage the amount of tokens that we're depleting by trying to minimize the amount of input that we're giving to our ai tutor and also minimizing the amount of words that the ai tutor generates so one way of doing that is to delete messages after we have sent them so currently when we send a message like my name is isaac like so our ai tutor tutor will now you know know that our name is Isaac and it will actually remember it because we're providing the AI tutor with a portion of the latest chat history which means that if I now ask what is my name our AI tutor will actually be able to tell us our name is Isaac but if we now delete all of these messages like so and then we asked what is my name we can see that the AI tutor does not know my name because we have deleted them from the AI tutor's memory and this is one technique that we can utilize to use less tokens so we can actually get more out of the tokens that we do use so each time we are concerned with a different question which is independent on our previous history we can just delete those from the memory or we can just create a new room to just clear the full memory as well but these tokens are not used when we are using normal mode so currently if we used to send a message with smart mode disabled we won't actually use any tokens but the difference between normal mode and smart mode is actually very large so if you're doing more complex math equations then i would recommend using smart mode but either way that was an introductory tutorial and more features are being added but yeah if you have any suggestions that you can use comment on this video we also have a discord server which i will link in the description of the video but that's it bye bye